And here's where the turn is indicated. We'll pass below the power lines. <coughs> Another cheering confidence blaze. Yes, they love doing it right here. Such a ball. Mm. It looks like we have some kinds of wetland protection barrier stuff set up. Oh yeah, there's the highway. Yikes. <laughs> These truly desolate, fascinating eraser head zones. It looks like they're doing a lot of work lately. And this is where you rejoin the trail. <laughs> it's like a corduroy bridge. I know. Corduroy. power project off in the distance. And here we're crossing some kind of seasonal swale. trail eventually going down a fish park and a viewing platform. Near at hand we have some fascinating and elaborate utility engineering project. And that's the way we came. You, we crossed underneath the utility. Well actually that's the way we came. This is an access road. So we came there. Now we're heading this way eventually to the Merrimack River. And there we have a long rafting straightaway of the Bay Circuit. An area of odd little indentations in the ground. Young pine in an understory of red maple, red oak, the usual suspect. By and large, it looks like it didn't get too badly soft by the one-two punch of Sandy and the Nor'easter. But we're hardly even at winter yet. And as with everything I ever run into in Andover, trails are very well marked. There's common sense everywhere you look. While this may be the quietest time of the year, the minimalist time of the year, I'll 
grays and browns. Still a pretty good place to be. And we seem to be at an interesting intersection. We got an Avis Blaze on this trail. A good old Bay Circuit Confidence Blaze right over there. Some sort of indication about this trail. A little Avis sign it's indicating it's a reservation. Oh, there was a sign post over here at once. And this is our way ahead to the river eventually. Right now you can hear the rushing rapids of traffic. This looks back towards the parking lot. We're in the coniferous portion of Brafton. Here's a bunch of little stunted hemlocks. Here's a mess of pine. I have a feeling we're on the north slope of something. It's looking that way. And there's a big ghost tree. So we might be heading in some general direction to the bridge. Wow, the hemlock is forming a veritable tunnel over our heads. Yeah, hemlock are yeah, hemlock are usually found on the shadiest sides of a slope. So th this we're facing north probably. Right. And we've exited a fairly dense north slope hemlock grove. Sun filtering down on yet more old stone walls. And everything carries us further forward down to the wetlands. Harry's unusually excited today. It's all utterly new and foreign smells. He's usually roaming in the south shore. It's got him an <laughs> abnormally low, high level of excitement beyond whatever is induced by the summer sausage in my pack. Oh, this is probably a recent slowdown. Looks like it might be sandy or nor'easter related. Jeez. And here's our stream. You can see there's been a blowdown. Judging by its direction, it may have been the nor'easter or sandy. This tells you that you're about halfway through the segment that takes you up to River Road just below the uh, way to Deer Jump Merrimack. There's a thin skim of ice on this stuff. dropping a little bit more. I think that's the bridge crossing. Maybe there's an actual bridge. We'll see. I'm a known gun jumper. And this is actually Fish Brook in all of its rushing glory. The trail comes from this direction. And this is about the halfway point from High Plain Road, River Road. <coughs> it's marshier up ahead. And here's one of the typically charming bridges that are built by the local community volunteers. And we're about to make our way across it. And find our way through the rest of this place.